Get away from my nipples, Corbin Miles. Typical Corbin. Nipple stimulation and then some Jameson. Just goes down so smooth. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on the official Twitter account. Subscribe and hit the like button. Please do. Please do. Tis true. Tis true. Tis pity. Tis true. Tis true. Has anybody ever... You trying to screw me? Anybody ever... Has anybody ever opened you up with a uh, wine bottle opener? Actually, yes. Oh. That's, uh, that's an easy way to open me up. You just use that on some wine, and I will very quickly be... Is that your kink? Well... Depends on the size of the wine bottle. <laughs> Today, we got a... Uh, these are ads. Oh, great. And But this is... Uh, Munabai and Circuit are back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a Did they actually get them? Yes. Oh! Uh, and this is uh, Sanjay and, and uh, Arsh... Arsh Adwarsi. Um, did like a couple ads for what, uh, some company as Munabai and Circuit. That's awesome. Uh, and so a lot of people That's awesome as long excited. as the writer and director are, are okay with that because there's some things that have happened. Example, there was somebody who was trying to get Robert De Niro to do his You Talking to Me line from Taxi Driver for a car insurance commercial. Mm-hmm. The writer of Taxi Driver found out that this was in the rumor mill and publicly, I think, tweeted it and said, please, no, please don't do that. <laughs> I don't I don't think uh, I don't think he could stop him, though. Couldn't. But yeah, he doesn't want that iconic character and that iconic line remembered more for a car insurance commercial than the film. I don't think anybody's going to remember more for the car insurance. Oh, it, that's why I don't like jingles being other people's songs. Write your own jingle. <laughs> what do you mean? When people take a song and they use the song as their ad for their product rather than write their own jingle for it. It happens a lot where where somebody uses... John Lennon specifically said that will never happen to a Beatles song. He never wanted it to, but he doesn't have any power over that anymore because... He's dead. Sony owns the catalog. And he's dead. Um, yeah, but Sony owns the catalog. But so even none of the Beatles. Power he's none dead. of the Beatles. Paul McCartney owned the catalog for a while. Not and then anymore. and then Pretty sure Apple does. Michael bought it. And then Sony got it. Wonder how they got Sony. it. Um anyway. So <laughs> anyway. I I I'm just wondering if this was if the person who created these characters is really happy about it or he's well, gro- would, he's groaning. Well that would be uh Rushmore Harani. Okay, thanks. So he's probably fine with it. Here we go. <laughs> I, I thought that I thought that like the concept works very well actually for for health insurance. It, it does. <laughs> Obviously, that was his whole thing in in Munabai was taking on the healthcare system. Yeah, uh, and they. I wonder how difficult, if at all, it is for them to slip into those characters. I bet it's like easy, riding a bike. Easy, yeah. Probably just fun riding a bike. How many characters could you could you do that with Fagan? Like slip into it immediately. Immediately, yeah. Pretty much every character I've ever done, I can just drop into pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because they're just they're right there. As long as the character's been under your skin, it's probably it's like watching Johnny Depp be Captain Jack at the drop of a hat. He's just he's there. Mm-hmm. It's it's just there, and I'm sure he could do the same with Edward Scissorhands. He could do the same with Wonka. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it makes it like. I feel like you should make a third film. <laughs> I feel like yeah. you should make a third Moonabai film. Um, in because like the the first one was which was his first film. 
was great. But then the other one, the second one was just a few years after, right? Yeah. So, and that was what? 2008? Uh, that I don't remember. I don't remember the I year. Think far back like yeah. that though, right? Um, so where... we need them. We need them to come to the states oh, and fix the health healthcare system here in America. It was 2003 was the first film. Oh wow, 20 years ago. And so the second one was 2006. Wow. So what are Muna by yeah. and Circuit doing? What now, are they doing now? 20 years later, send them to America to fix our healthcare system. I don't think they would do that. Literally, they can't fix it. <laughs> they could. <laughs> no, they couldn't. <laughs> Unless they literally are in Congress can can pay people. Yeah, no, Congress can't change it. Why would Congress change it? Oh, Congress could change it. They won't. Yeah. There's a difference. That's what I meant by they can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. No, they could. Well, they, they, they could. They, they won't. won't. Yeah, no. We need to just watch these two guys take on the medical industrial complex. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just... just and the second It'd one, obviously, had a similar kind of like that, but it was a lot more religious uh, parts of it. To that I think why a lot of Indians connected with it a lot more than, mm. than what we could have, because mm. it had a lot more religious. Yeah. Um, Gandhi. I, I'm interested. Take a peek at Raj Maharani's page. Is is there anything maybe in just development for a third? No. Want to buy? No. One, he hasn't announced. He's, I think he's going to wait for Donkey to come out. Oh, Amir Khan, though. Interesting. An it's, untitled collaboration with Amir Khan. That's all it says, and that's the only attached person. That's great, though. Having That's nice to know. Amir Khan back in a Rajkumar Harani film. That's nice to know. He's done two with him, right? Uh, yes, PK. PK and Three Idiots. And it's Three Idiots, yeah. 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 Uh, two of the that most, makes me very happy. Two of the most iconic Indian films of all. Three Idiots might be the most iconic that's the first and one we ever saw. At minimum, it might be in the top five most iconic and I, in terms it, of like recognition. Yeah. Everybody's seen it. And I think it's probably at the top of the list for anyone who knows someone's never seen Indian cinema to say, okay, here, watch Three Idiots. Yeah. Yeah. It's It would be for me. Three Idiots would be in there. Cholet would be in there. In terms of, of as all, far as classic Indian. And I guess this would just technically be... Um, yeah, you could you could include it in all of Indian cinema, but Hindi specifically, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, three Idiots. It's oh. a perfect combination, I think, for introducing somebody because it has some of the old school '90s feel with the comedy and the musical numbers, but then it also goes into really deep social issues that yeah. surprise you that it got so heavy. So, so I, I, it's just a if great I'm, movie. I'm just doing the list here. Of most iconic, let's just put it in Hindi, just to make it slightly easier. Well, iconic? I think it had to be, Three Dates is there. DDLJ. DDLJ is definitely there. Cholet, I think, would probably be in there. Right? I, I, and this is just the ones that we've seen. The ones obviously, we've seen. Sorry. Obviously, we'll miss a bunch, but probably yes. Like the two. most iconic, this is, you've got to put these in a time capsule and preserve them forever. You need to watch these to know Indian cinema. Because in terms of all Indian cinema, I'd probably put RR in there now just because of what it's meant. Of course. Worldwide. Uh, I, I, I think also most would say, and I think you'd agree, that um, um, K3G should be part of that inclusion. I was Because I was just talking about this uh, in a... Um, what would you think about Vir, uh, Virzara? No, it wouldn't. No? I don't think in for also maybe I'm thinking we should ask this differently. Oh, like, iconic is so different. Mr. India, Mother India, mm, Mother India, maybe it did when I mean, got nominated for an Oscar because uh, in my Lagan in, in Lagan, I think would be in there in my uh, film club. We just did Naked Gun and we were for some reason also talking about what are the most important comedies of all time? What influenced everything else? Right? Mm. Uh, one of them, I think somebody actually thought a naked gun would be in because of, of what it influenced after that. I think it would be more uh, airplane. Airplane. You don't uh, have naked gun without airplane. And then you could also include stuff with... Um, Blazing Saddles. Uh, yeah. And more recently, I think the most important past 2000 is Anchorman. So yeah. I think it's influenced everything. It really has. After uh, whenever... The, I think it came out in 2000. Another one that really gets lost because it's thought of more as a as a, as a holiday film. I, th I think of it as a holiday film on a comedy. Elf. 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, like, if in if you're talking about the most important Hindi cinema of all time, importance, importance you Mother India. What what has in, influenced right. everything else? Right after it, right. right. 3D, it's for sure, is in there. Without I think question. Cholet is definitely DDLJ a thousand percent. Do you percent. include Dongle because of the box office? No. Okay. I don't, I don't either. Uh, I love Dongle, but I don't that consider it. That would be a different it, category, it, obviously. Uh, agreed. agreed. I think in terms of what has influenced after it. Triple R, you I mean, obviously uh, well, just said that, that. like is Hindi, though. So, oh, Hindi, okay. Because if, if, if you did all of Indian cinema, I think Bahubali would actually be in there. Oh, for, I agree. For what it's done, you don't have you don't have RRR uh, without Bahubali. For what it's done, I agree. After it came out, in I agree. Terms of import, but if, if you're I'd just, love to watch Bahubali again. If you're just talking about Hindi cinema, Cholet, Three Idiots, DDLJ, I think Lagan. I can't. Uh, this is pure bias, subjectivity, and I, I doubt anyone would agree with me necessarily. For me, it's because of what it did, and it birthed this channel, Gully Boy. Yeah, I don't think anybody else would agree. But yeah. I understand why you're saying that yeah. for sure. Um, and because like, and I'm also trying to think of like Sanjay Bansali films, oh, but also oh, I, I don't know if that influenced everything else. What was the it. what kind of influence did Lunchbox have in that regard? Because I would include Lunchbox as far as important films that need to stay yeah, in I a time know, capsule. I don't know how much it influenced. Yeah. everything else, and you probably have to go back to maybe Dilip films. Uh, Dilip Kumar films in terms of like back in the day. What's the film where Shah Rukh Khan kissed somebody? It's, uh, we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. I know we haven't seen it, but that is a turning point in Indian cinema. Why? Because Shah Rukh Khan kissed someone. No, I, I don't think that would be including an importance because one, I don't know that the film did too well. Uh, and also a lot of Indians just thought it was weird that Shah Rukh Khan was kissing people. <laughs> <laughs> But it also was a statement of this is acceptable because if Shah Rukh Khan does it, um, I think I would probably include maybe Dev Das could be in there because, but it'd probably be the original Dev Das, um, Mughali Azam. I know it didn't do box office, but how do you not include Gangs of Wasper? That's true. I, I, I just, but like I said, in, it, it's, that's just a different question because if we're talking about importance, right? I think it's so important. I do. I do as well. I think it'd be up there. But whether it be in the top five with DDLJ, Lagan, Cholet, um, what was the other th three idiots? Uh, K3G probably. Is I there. really do think Gangs is. I probably put the Gangs in the top ten. Yeah, I think I'm talking like Gangs is groundbreaking. How many films after that did it influence? That's true. Yes, on your exactly. And I, I think it would be more top ten than top five though. Yeah, because that it's just a more niche genre. As opposed to what did K three D G do? Everybody made romance. Of course, films. <laughs> but I I think I see. I'd love to talk to Indian film historians about the impact that gangs had, not just on Indian Hindi cinema and Indian cinema, well, but yeah. how yeah how it paved the way as a template for what could be done, not just for theatrical releases, but what gave everybody permission to do and emulate for OTT. Yeah, maybe. Um, um, yeah, in I, terms I of iconic characters, though, Munabai was probably Munabai's. Uh, yeah, when you talk about because that's a thing. You have some films that maybe they weren't spectacular, but the characters within them. I mean, Mugambo. Uh, that's the go, first one that comes to I don't mind. Know what Shah Rukh performance you'd include, but probably DDLJ. Yeah. Uh, in terms of like, it's just an iconic, iconic character. Work, right? Yeah, because all the other characters come after that. Um, uh, Mugumbo would definitely be in there. A hundred percent Mugumbo's in there. Say, uh, is Gabar more iconic than um, Amitabh Bakchan's character in, in Cholet? He might be. Might be. Um, the angry young man just as a whole. It's um, but Because you'd have to include one of those in there because he influenced... And every... we're just talking Hindi right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. just icon like iconic, most iconic characters. Yeah. I think just... Because you can't include, not include any Amitabh Bakshan characters because he influenced everything with that whole time period. Well, and what would Salman Khan fans say as Tiger? I mean, what the impact? That was, that was way later in his career, though. So. Yeah, but what impact does the, does does he have on, on action now in Indian cinema? I mean, he created a whole universe, so for sure. 
Um, but uh, he was also more known for his romance, just like Shabra Khan was in, in the early 90s. And then there's just the technical aspects of the groundbreaking beauty. Where do you start with someone's contributions like Asanjay Lila Bansali? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult question. I think everybody ha would have a different answer. They would. Um, and I'm sure there's stuff we're not bringing up that, that stupid babies would mention and we'd say, oh. Yeah, for we sure. We either say, yeah, you're right, I forgot, or we haven't seen it yet. What would you think for Hindi cinema are the f top five most like Con not iconic, important, important. films. Industry changing. In terms of culture changing. When it came out, it changed everything. Yeah. What would your top five be? Um, I'd love to ask that. I'd love to, I hope I can remember that. Interviews. It's a great question for interviews. It's something I'd like, if we were talking what to think Karan Johar. Important Hindi yeah, or, or Shah Rukh Khan. And not just their own films, but of all time. Obviously, with those two men, you, you could easily point out to films that they've done. But like, talk to Taboo. Mm -hmm. What does she think? What does Vishal Bardwash consider to be? What does Anurag consider to be? What does, what does uh, Radhika Apte consider to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Right? Anyway. That was a good ad. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we went off great ad. Great ad. <laughs> Uh, let us know what you think about it down below. Josh!